So hey Tamari, in today's video is going to be my updated pedicure routine. I'm going to show you guys how I take my feet from girl we've been quarantined, ain't nobody seen them so they're looking real rough right now to girl it's time to go on vacation we're going to the beach. So if you're new here my name is Talisa and here on Ben's Lisa we make all types of cool videos so go ahead and hit that subscribe button you guys. Also like and comment and then hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload so let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So as you can see, I have my pedicure bowl right here. I got this bowl from Walmart um, about a year or two ago. So it's super old. Excuse how dirty this is. Yeah, it's dirty. Sorry. But in here, I just have some warm water. Um, and we're going to get into I'm probably going to do a voiceover for these steps because it is a lot of steps. And I don't want to sit here and ramble. So um, let's get into it. All right, so my feet look real hurt. We about to get them together, you guys. So first, I'm going with some bubble bath. I like to use this as my soak. And I actually added too much, so you're going to see a bubble explosion in a minute. I'm also going to take these bath soaks that I got from Dollar Tree. <laughs> these bath soaks are really, really nice. I'm just going to add a few of those in there. And they have like the regular soaks and it also had like some type of herb in there as well. Um, while my feet soak for about maybe like five minutes, I'm going to go ahead in and take off my toe polish. Um, I like to let them soak a little bit before just to kind of get the polish kind of ready to be removed. I'm just going to take off the polish off of both feet. Once all the toenail polish is off, I'm going to turn back on the pedicure bowl and I'm just going to let my feet soak for about 10 minutes with nothing on them. And then we're going to get into the scrub. So this is a scrub from, I believe, Avon? No, Footworks. It's a really, really nice scrub. It's a spoiling scrub. So I just put this all over my feet. So first I like to scrub my feet with just my hands. And then next you're going to see that I'm going to pick up a kind of like cheese grater type of thing I'm gonna use that to just really scrub the bottom of my feet really good I'm not being too abrasive because I don't want to cause any like cuts and stuff on my feet I'm just gonna scrub my my feet until I feel like it's good and then I'm gonna rinse them off with the water Then I'm taking this mini loofah. I'm going to use this just to kind of like wash my feet again to get all of the scrub off and just all the extra residue off. And then I'm just going to rinse my feet and then I'm going to put them on my towel to dry. I make sure that I dry my feet very, very thoroughly. Then I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow razor that I only use for my feet and I'm going to shave off the hair. I usually wax it, but I didn't feel like waxing it this day. Um, then next we're gonna go in with a nail clipper. I'm just gonna cut down my toenails. I don't have to cut that much because I pretty much keep them cut down, but just cut them down to a really nice, I guess, look. Next, I'm going to go in and kind of buff my nail, pretty much my big toe because it was kind of textured. And then I'm just going to file each toenail since I did cut them before. I'm then taking this lotion by the same brand as foliar that I use and also these little socks. I'm going to massage this lotion really good into my feet. It's a really, really good lotion. Um, I'll have it below so I just really just massage that in. And then I'm going to take these little fuzzy socks. I'm going to put these on to let my feet 
kind of like marinate and let the softness get into them and I leave these socks on for about 10 to 30 minutes just depending on how long you want them to get soft like a baby's booty. I'm next taking this UV light that I got from Amazon so it has all these buttons it has 5 second, 10 second and 60 second so I like to use the 60 second. Um, and I'm just going to take these gel polishes. So you have a base coat, a top coat, and then your color. So I love white. So first I'm going with some acetone just to remove any excess oil on my toenails. So I'm going to use that to dehydrate every single toenail. And then next I'm going to go in with the little toe separator because my toes be throwing up gang signs. Next I'm going to take the base coat and just apply this all over my toes. I try to take my time so I try to listen to music or something so I'm not rushing. I then let the base coat cure for 60 seconds and then after that is done, I'm gonna go in with the um, main toenail polish. Um, I try to take my time y'all, I really, really do. I'm horrible at painting my toes. So I take my time and I also let this cure for 60 seconds once I have put on the toenail polish but the good thing about gel polish is that it will not dry if it's not cured so if you need to go in and fix anything you have ample amount of time to because it's not going to dry until you cure it. Then I'm going to go in for a second coat. I like to do two coats of gel polish. I'm just going to apply this coat onto my toes and then I'm going to let it cure for another 60 seconds. Lastly, I go in with the top coat and I only do one layer of top coat. This top coat is really, really good. My toes pretty much stay done for at least like three to four weeks. Um, after the top coat is on, I like to cure it for 60 seconds, but I do it two times. Um, so basically two minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same steps for my other foot. Once all the polish is on and everything is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my toe separators. I like to take some type of oil just to make my feet look really, really good and to seal in the lotion that I put on. I'm also going to take it up into my calves like they do at the nail salon, honey. So I'm just going to really take my time to massage this in and also give myself a mini massage as well, you know. Cater to yourself, girl. So this is basically the finished product, you guys. I think it looks pretty good. Like if you like it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little in detail, my at home gel pedicures. Um, I've been doing my own pedicures for like the last six months, way before this quarantine thing even happened because I realized I was just wasting money going to the nail salon when I can do my feet and my nails myself. So I do have a video up of how I put on my press-ons if you are interested in that. You can get all these items off of Amazon. I would definitely have it linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go and subscribe to my channel right now. Being and Lisa, join the gang. Gang, gang. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys.